Howdy folks, bit of deja vu that is, isn't it? So, yeah, today's Tuesday. Now, Sunday, Monday, us over in like East Angola have been hit fairly hard with some rain. A lot of words being chucked about. Biblical, worst I've ever seen. It ain't really, is it? Does warm me up when, oh, that's the worst I've ever seen. It's the worst you can remember because you ain't got a very good memory. But I tell you what it is, it is a pain because we did have the cows out. Obviously, you know, we could have put some armbands on them. Um, you know, one for each leg, they might have floated. But uh, no, so what we've done, <laughs> spent yesterday getting um, uh, ready for the cows to stay in overnight. Good job we did because it's sort of as you know, you could tell yesterday it was going to just keep coming up and keep coming up. So, uh, yeah, so back to the old winter regime, um, which is a pain in September, but uh, is what it is, isn't it? So, um, yeah, a lot of rain. We haven't had as much as folks as other folks. Um, we haven't got local flooding, if you know what I mean. We've only got flooding because we've got the Ivel here. The ewes, as I've said many times, the ewes is behind me and they meet just about 100 yards behind me there. Like. So we get the, um, you know, we get all the water from upstream, you know, uh, Bedford, Milton Keynes. Um, so what rains up there does make its way down here. Um, not so we haven't had flooding, a localised flood here per se, but like Bedford has, you know, the A421 has been shut. Uh, it was shut yesterday for flooding and it's still shut today lot because they can't get rid of it. Um, so we didn't add that much, but we have, you know, this, because we've got the rivers, that's what makes it um, um, flood here. But, you know, we're not in any, you know, the buildings, nothing's going to be in danger because it'll, I dare say it'll, it's not quite peaked, but it's, it's not going to get a lot higher, I wouldn't have thought. Um, certainly not going to get high as it did like in the winter, but it's just a pain in the preverb that, you know, cows have had to come in. And uh, I'll <laughs> tell you the other thing, I um, don't know if you've been watching the news and all that like, but whenever they visit flooded places, something that I've always noticed is it's always a new housing estate or a relatively new housing estate. Funny that lot, because when it was on the tankers, whenever it flooded, quite often we were in new housing estates lot. And... Um, and people, I mean, my thoughts are like, people always wonder, well, you know, the flooding gets worse and worse and worse. You know, it weren't this bad 30 years ago. Well, we didn't have this much concrete this, you know, 30 years ago, lot. Like, that's the thing. It's all the concrete that gathers the water and it doesn't, can't get away. When it's got, you know, grass and soil to go through, it just percolates away, doesn't it? It will, you know, eventually flood, like, but, you know, that's what the concrete does. And that's why you get so much sort of, flash flooding like because um you know all this concrete just gathers it all into one space the drains can't get rid of it where you go so um yeah what's the news i think it was last night and or it could have been sunday night and uh there were about three places all brand new um housing estates like <laughs> i thought well there's a surprise lot but um yeah that's that's the state we're in at the minute not too bad just inconvenient really lot um we're fairly well up with land work we're not all the way up with land work but we're fairly well up with it like so you know we'll certainly test out them moles wouldn't it like <laughs> i've been doing so uh yeah all good fun isn't it yeah so now thanks to all that water basically got full um winter regime regime yeah you could call it a regime <laughs> I meant to say routine, but regime works as well, doesn't it? So, um, yeah, instead of getting the um, cows all fed in the morning, basically tipping, uh, emptying the wagon first thing, filling it up, and then after the cows have had their breakfast, basically like 10 o'clock, they then go out again. You then tip that, um, tip that mix into the feeding area for the cows, reload for the morning. So then you know, like the rest of the day was clear, but now, um, you know, got to scrape out twice a day, scrape out before, uh, well, whilst the cows are doing milking, so that means starting earlier. Um, 
rather than doing it when they go out. You know, there's all these things extra. And, uh, yeah, they could have... I mean, there was not a lot of grass out there for them to eat, but, you know, at least they went out and had a mooch about. Um, you know, and it uh, frees us up this time of year for, like, cultivations, um, you know, that sort of stuff, like, you know, which we've still got, you know, plenty to do, but now it does sort of tie, you know, definitely at least one person up in the afternoon lot. But uh, hey ho, it's the way the cookie cookie crumbles sometimes, isn't it? Strong. <laughs> it smells good. So this video um, is actually an up-to-date video. I've been so far behind, probably sort of two two weeks, two to three weeks um, behind with the videos. So sort of you know getting them recorded and then only getting them uploaded two or three weeks later. Um, it's like the moling video, that was two or three weeks ago, yeah, it was lovely dry, <laughs> not like it is now, so this is actually an up to date video. Um, fast track's going well again now, had to, um, I re taught their manifold bolts again, one of them was a smidge loose but other than that they were fine. Um, spool valves on this, remember they were playing up, well the brown one, when I was ploughing, started working again because I had that on the front furrow um, adjuster, which broke. But um, I'm still going to get them done because like, I still haven't got float on the blue. The blue's just sort of like uh, in and out, but no float. So um, get them done because they're only going to be pain in the preverb. Now the FW, um, Darren's called me today. Actually, he's had word. Well, he's actually picked up. All the master cylinders and the slave cylinders for the brake and clutch. So he's got them all, they're all done, cleaned up, stainless sleeves on them, new seals, all that. So they're basically as good as new. And uh, we're just trying to, he's, he's, um, he's getting hold of, uh, there's a few sensors I need, not sensors, senders rather like. Uh, coolant temperature sensor, engine oil, light. Um, and the, well, basically, near enough, all the senders on it want changes. So, again, it's kind of tricky, you know, these old girls, um, especially over here, getting bits for them. Like, in America, not so bad, because there's tons of them over there, you know, green stikers and everything. Like, well, over here, it's a bit trickier, but um, anyway. So, Darren's basically got most of the bits with him now. When he's got all the bits and bobs, he'll come back and we'll, you know, we'll spark her up and get her back to life. And um, I don't think I think I think she's locked up. But this will annoy a few folks. Can you see that steering wheel? Yeah, that'll definitely annoy <laughs> a few folks. Like basically, that is I've got the all the stuff, the auto steer stuff out of the TW. And I thought, bugger it, I'm going to put it in the FW. Got it, I'm going to use it. So basically the kit's all in, the brackets are all in. When we're ready to use them, probably on the plough or whatever, um, I've only got to transfer the dome over um, and the screen, which takes about five minutes. So um, yeah, that'd be good. I'm interested to see how, how well it'll work on an Arctic steer, the CHC nav system. And um, yeah, then this will be far more accurate <laughs> than my eyes like. So, uh, yeah, it'd be good to hear the old girl singing again. Especially on the mold playing video, someone said the FW is rubbish. Rubbish tractor. Prefer New Orleans. What are you on? How can you prefer like a modern New Orleans to something like this? The old modern New Orleans, the modern John Deere's, the modern fence, JCBs, vouchers, the modern tractor will not be about in 40, how old is this old girl now? Uh, hold on, let me think. Uh, it's a 44, 46 years old. Do you think them modern tractors will be about in 46 years time? I very much doubt it. 
but this was this will still be about in 46 years time i probably won't be but there's a very good chance this will still be about in 46 years time she'll be vintage then <laughs> but uh yeah we're gonna see the old girl you know uh doing a bit of work get that plow going one little part i need for that plow now and then she'll be uh good to go so anyway that's where we are anyway so i want to just uh i'll say sort of update you as to where we are with that all this blooming flooding yeah so basically that, that water is i mean what's the time now nearly five that has like peaked all day it hasn't really more I moved a few mil but it hasn't moved a lot at all so um yeah hopefully that'll start going down but um yeah, I, I think a lot of it is just all the, you know, the new concrete that gets built, you know, added onto villages, onto towns. Like you take St. Neitz, for example. Must be hundreds and hundreds of acres over the past, like, 10 years, something like that, has been, you know, built houses, concrete down. And all that water's got to go somewhere, like. Especially if, um you know councils that don't look after the drains i.e unblock them every now and again because they do get blocked up you soon end up with pools of water about don't you so anyway hope if you've you know got a bit of water about you're all right you ain't too badly flooded um yeah i'll see you on the next one ta-ta